all right everybody welcome back to the big blue dynasty series here on madden 24. the new york football giants are currently nine and four and we are going against the dallas cowboys in their house they are 10 and three and first place in the division we lost a tough one against the vikings we just melted in in, in the meadowlands in a way that i could not believe but i think we made some changes here that hopefully can help us out and kind of secure uh, certain positions from a depth perspective. So we went ahead and moved Dennis Houston back down. We have five wide receivers on the roster, so I'm kind of cool with that, uh, knowing that we added another tight end in Chris Manhurts, who was actually on the Giants to begin with, um, but I decided to bring him back to ensure that we have a, a uh, blocking tight end to help us. And, uh, just in case something were to happen with one of our tight ends. I didn't want Beavers out there or another middle linebacker out there. Looks like we have a couple different storylines here. We got under siege. It is the protection of the quarterback was a major issue this past week as you surrendered a high volume of sacks. Uh, where do the struggles start? I would say blame the quarterback. The ball has to come out faster. Those negative plays make drives nearly impossible to sustain. So whether it is dumping underneath or chucking it away, it's on the QB uh, to get it done. Now, with that being said, does the change of the game plan, uh, does it change, do we change the game plan this week? Uh, game plan this week? No, we're gonna stick with the passing. Uh, it's a big part of our identity and I don't see changing anytime soon. We just have to be, we just have to execute better. Learn from what happened last week and not let it happen again. The 300 plus yards there, we get a little boost for the offensive line too. If we can prevent some sacks now the edges with parsons and lawrence are nasty but uh, the interior is reasonable we should be able to knock these guys out here so you're up against the cowboys this week and they've been playing great football can you end their win streak um i want to be confident feel pretty good they looked unbeatable the last few weeks but we have a locker room full of guys that are ready to step up to the challenge so the Giants, the Cowboys are playing well, and all players have a plus 10 break tackle, play rec, and tackle for this game. The vote of confidence of our team is fired up. All players also had the same. So, whoo, this is going to be rough right here, man. Both teams are pretty much maxed out when it comes to the limits there. Um, I'm hoping for a good one here. Now, we have already played the Cowboys before we know their roster. I wanted to make sure I talk about a change today. Schlautman has played okay in the interior at center, but I'm going to move Steiny at center now and give him an opportunity to step up. I think he can do some things there. I'm paying attention to the Evan Neal situation closely uh, because I need to know if he's going to be able to, to hang in there. No other changes um, for our guys. I think we just got to figure out a way to, to, to kind of pull away and, and, and rock these teams out here. So let's get it going. So it's always tough to play in AT&T Stadium. The Cowboys tend to have a pretty good situation there. Uh, refs tend to be kind of crazy too. As you can see, Harrison's close. He's 920 yards uh, currently this year. He has played so well. 14 touchdowns as a rookie. He should have a shot at the rookie of the year for sure this season. Uh, hopefully he can kind of keep it rolling. I, my goal is to see if we can get his butt to 1,200 yards. It would be nice to have a rookie uh, wide receiver like that. And then, you know, potentially bring in some other cats to compete against Daniel Jones next season. You got Dak Prescott ready to roll out there, man. They're rocking the home jerseys. Very interesting on how they do that there. And then the Giants, we're going to come out in our home jerseys. Uh, the regular blues there with the gray uh, pants. Now, Daniel Jones had a tough game last week. We gave up a lot of picks. Uh, we, we just got to lean into our O-line there. Kind of crazy, too. We did this one right before the draft. Uh, is when we started this series. It was before the Stefan Diggs trade. And uh, some players, players actually ended up uh, signing to teams that uh, ended up going prior to us signing them. Ezekiel Elliott is one of them who is now back with the Cowboys. And he's rocking number 15 too, surprisingly. Uh, so uh, some realism has happened. And, and I kind of like what I uh, how this works here. 28 uh, 96 yards, 25 touchdowns, four interceptions. Dak Prescott has not made much mistakes this year. So we got to figure out how to roll with this. Now, they have a very good running game. The thing is, though, is the O-line is just totally different as it once was. So 
We have to figure out how to make it work there. Play action. Got time. Throws a deep shot there. Javaris Owens almost has it. Big hit on Cooks there. That's a great start for the Giants defense. Needed my guys to press where I can. Another play action right there. Donna's going after him. Oh, back shoulder throw for freaking Lamb. Avante Maddox with a tackle to the 31-yard line. That's a 44-yarder right there. Look at the Saints led by Michael Penix, dude. Beating the Falcons. The Saints would have been a very nice team to have, man. I was actually looking at and uh, reading an article today uh, that was quoted for... Uh, Nice pickup right there by Zeke. Where the Saints, I guess, wanted uh, Pat Mahomes in that year's draft. And I guess they voiced it too much. Someone found out. And that's the reason why the Chiefs traded up for Mahomes. So what Peyton was talking about, Sean Peyton was talking about was, hey, if you want to keep it, what a catch. What a catch. You got to stay quiet. And the Falcons, you know, they grabbed the QB. I still think it's weird because there's no out for the Kirk Cousins um, signing. It, re it really was a strange one. But if you really love your QB, you know, you got to take him, I guess. I just, I think the Falcons screwed up there nonetheless. They're going to hand it off to Zeke here. Zeke follows his blockers. He falls in. And the Cowboys, they don't do anything wrong in that drive. The Giants just look poor, dude. They look real poor. Um, and we just need to kind of get focused. Look at the uh, Niners there beat the Aaron Rodgers-led Jets 34-26. to 26. Now, by the time we get this recording out, you can see that the other series we have on Madden has been thrusted into the future where they're now in 2035. So I'm kind of hoping um, they, they can kind of keep it going there because the... Uh, uh, that that series is going to be fun so at least it's a little different timeline a lot of the players that we all see in this series are not even in the game there or if they are they're like 33 35 years old or older so they're not a crazy team as they once were dj's got this one. Oh my gosh he just got hit i think if he let him a little bit more that might have been a tutty there great play by deron bland and now we are looking at second and 10 here. Weak side blast. Good block. Singletary finds some room there. Digs with the tackle, but Singletary does get the first down. Now, the Vikings end up losing to the Bears. They're 28 6. Cincinnati beats the uh, Commanders. So there's some wins going on in certain areas. The Commanders are a very strange team, though, man. I, I think they got a lot of guys that are a little older and. We'll see how that works. J.K. Dobbins runs to the 38 two-yard game. But, you know, as I was talking about before, I think we just have to continue to work through how we develop this team. But I, I'm hoping my guys can kind of work through it. I'd love to get Harrison more yardage along the way because uh, I do have faith in him being a very good player. DJ's got time. Hits Harrison. Harrison had to die for that. He's got such a crazy wingspan, dude. And uh, he's an incredible player. I love having Marvin Harrison Jr. on this team. First and 10 at the 50-yard line here. We're looking at a screen pass for Singletary. Singletary gets the block. Good block by Evan Neal there. We get about nine on that one. Second and one. We got Eric Gray in the backfield here. Trips left. Draw play. And Gray gets the first down. Look at the Bills, dude. Cardinals still suffering, and it's because of what the Cardinals did in this series. They didn't draft a wide receiver at all. It was such a strange draft for them. Um, and I think they went Dallas Turner. It was a weird draft, but I would say uh, the Bills are looking really good, but that's they didn't have... They still have Diggs in this series. Uh, they don't have him anymore. I'm definitely interested in seeing what would happen if Diggs was traded um, and then we started, but... Now we only got five wide receivers on the uh, ro uh, roster, active roster, but McKenzie's uh, now going to get an opportunity to play here. DJ's in trouble. What happened? Did he just slow down? Lasseter with the sack there, or part of the sack. Second and 18. What the heck was that? My guy slowed down. Strange. Second and 18 at 35. 
Giants have to find opportunities here, man. We're going to flip the field here. I'd like to see if I can get Robinson open on the fade on the wide side. DJ's going to throw this up to Robinson. Oh, what the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, my God. DJ is so bad, dude. We're going to go for it here. DJ screwed up, man. Wandell was wide open. Third and 18. They're pulling back there. DJ gets hit. That's a big play by Demarcus Lawrence there. We're going to send out Gano and try to see if we can kick a field goal. And Gano gets it done. So it's 7-3. to three. Eagles beat the Panthers. So the Eagles are cropping up, man. They might tie us. If, if we lose this game, there's a chance that the Eagles next game if they beat us they will take over the second place and we will drop further in our div own division uh oddly enough panthers have been horrendous though by the way i don't know what they're gonna do hopefully they figure some things out there but it it's been a tough situation for them Jack ready to roll here. You got Zeke in the backfield. They're going to hand it off to Zeke. Zeke bounces off a defender. Aziz Jalari gets there. It'll be second and five at the 31. And Zeke just... Zeke is a tough player to take down. And um, we always have an issue going after him. Second and four there. They're going to hand it off. Oh, play action there. There is the sack by Avante Maddox. Coming in hot. Third and 13 there. Nice play, and the Giants are looking at trying to solidify this one. Let's see if we can get our defense off the field. There it is, McFadden coming in hot. That's what we needed, man. I'm wondering what happens with the Bengals. You know, they're they're, they're winning, they're kicking butt. Uh, this year, I think they got a really good squad. I believe they drafted a, another wide receiver who I really like. Um, but Colts also had a really good draft. The one that I was actually shocked. So the Eagles gra drafted this year, Quinion Mitchell and um, and uh, the cat from Iowa, uh, Cooper DeJean. Another duo that I think can be pretty nasty this year is Anise Rakestraw and Terrion Arnold for the Lions. That's a very, very good duo there. Nice run right here by Singletary. He can't cut past number six, but he does get the first down. So Singletary currently right now has two big runs for first downs on each. So good run so far. Just kind of keep staying balanced where we can. Good blocking up front. There it is. J.K. Dobbins trying to find some room. He gets about five there. But yeah, I think that Anise Rakestraw, Terry on Arnold might be able to uh, create some chaos there over in the NFC North. I think Anise Rakestraw is kind of underrated, man. He's a very good player. Little RPO right there. Good blocking up front by uh, Juan Dale and Harrison. And Corley, Corley gets a nice little catch. We got first and 10 at the 27-yard line. This is where I'd like to see if we can get a nice pass right here over to Harrison. Nice play action there. He's got time, and he misses him, dude! You can't miss him! That's the time! That's the time, DJ. Unbelievable, man. We're going to go for an RPO here. Let's see what happens. 58 seconds left in this first quarter. Hands it off to Singletary. Singletary gr gets a great block by Harrison Jr. He is becoming, he is so freaking good at blocking his Harrison Jr. Great play right there. We're looking at a shotgun spread. 25 seconds left here in the first quarter. Eric Gray in the backfield. And there's a sack in the interior. Yeah, someone made a mistake there. Was that Steiny? I think it was. And that'll end the quarter. Giants down 7-3 to three here. It's been kind of rough, man. But, you know, we got to keep the faith and hopefully my guys can start scoring. But sacks are happening here with this old line. Still more things to kind of throw here 
Throws it over to Singletary out of the backfield. Parsons sticks with them. We don't get much. Be third and 18 at the 10. We have a couple different routes here. I'm going to try to move. Uh, I think Bellinger's fine there. DJ, I don't know, guys. I don't know, but the O-line... I don't know. The O-line just looks really bad with the setup here. Without JMS right now, JMS has now been hurt back-to-back -back years to start his career. I have to think about bringing in a better veteran behind him or to start over JMS. If JMS can't freaking stay healthy, I can see us moving on from him. He was a second-round pick, which is nice. Uh, last player that I remember that we drafted second round was Weston Rich Richburg, who ended up going to the Niners and played very well there. I like Weston. It was the same time as when we gave up Justin Pugue that offseason, too, and we had to figure out how to rebuild that old line. Just poor coaching, but... High formation here. Hands it off to Zeke. Zeke's got room. Great blocking up front. And uh, they got that done with ease there. The rushing defense has been abysmal as of late. You know, Aaron Jones getting three tutties against us and over 180 yards just kind of shows how bad we've been playing. There goes Dak. Dak steps into that one. Cooks just could not get that. That ball was thrown a little too wide there. Second and 10. I form close defense. We're going to pull back just a little bit here. Got to see what they do on this I formation. They go for the toss. Defense isn't ready for it. Come on, dude. What are we doing? Big mistakes by the defense. It's first and 10 to the 36 yard line. Giants have to get right, man. Giants have to get right. We're going to hand it off again. Zeke finds room right up the middle. And he's going to be down at the 24-yard line. First and 10 at the 24. Zeke is eaten today, folks. I don't know what's going on, man. But we got to figure it the hell out. 8.20 left here in the third, in the first half. Play action. That time, Pinnock. We were guarding CeeDee Lamb coming across the field there. Prescott played the smart move, though. And... Uh, Threw it away. Second and 10. Trips tied in left. Oh, wow. He throws a deep one. And sack. Oh, Cee Lamb passes it. What a play right there. Just passed by Trey Hawkins. We screwed up. It was a one-on-one -on -one scenario, and we paid the price. 8-13 left here in the half. And as the Giants are kicking field goals, the Cowboys are kicking, are, are throwing touchdowns, and we are having problems we got to be better here man the offense just looks ridiculous the uh, uh, mhj is not able to separate as much but we're also not giving an opportunity i gotta i gotta figure out how to get him going man but it has not been easy first and 10 here they're playing the right setups to where can't get the out routes we gotta kind of roll with the underneath wow what the hell was that dude Oh my gosh, man. Lasseter stuck on my dude, and we did not get it done. DJ throws, guess what? Another freaking pick, and the Giants' defense is in a tough scenario here. Throws it underneath the Ferguson. Good tackle by Banks. But man, we have a problem, folks. I don't know what it is with DJ, dude. He was having a pretty good year, and not so much now. He caught it! What a grab! One-hander by C.D. Lamb. The defense just... They're in a really tough spot, but the Giants look real bad right now, man. First and ten. Who the hell? Wow, was that a, a reverse waggle? Was that a waggle there? It was a choice. It was a Z. It was off a Z spot. Wow, that didn't look like the route that was just run. Well, the Giants in trouble here. Second and four at the nine. Oh, there you go. Hawkins. <laughs> there you go. A little after, after the whistle action there. Needed that. Come on, defense. 
Get right. Responsible 15. Oh, slap pass. CD Lamb gets the first down. What are we doing? We're going to have to change this real quick and go to over, uh, overall is what I need to have happen. First and goal at the three. Giants in really bad trouble right now. Playing here in AT&T. They're kicking our butts. 550 left here in the half. We're going to hand it off to Zeke. Zeke fighting for more yards. He's going to be down at the two. Continue to play that hard nose football, guys. We got big dudes up front. Kingsley Kiki, Nunez Roches is out there. Big dog clogging the freaking interior. Zeke can't get anywhere. Big tackle right there by Javari Owens. Luke Shoemaker's hurt on the play. Now the Giants are in an okay spot here. Third and goal. Definitely anticipating pass. Definitely anticipating pass here. Don't let him get it. Oh, he takes a nasty hit at the one. Fourth and goal at the one. Are they going to go for it? They are. They are. 440. We're going to call a timeout. We dare you. Now you're thinking now. Now you're thinking. Are you going to take this from us? What are you going to do here, Cowboys? Nope, they're going to kick a field goal. They uh, took a second to figure it out. Look at the Texans. They're beating the Ravens 14-7. Texans might be... I don't know. Are they having a good year this year? I haven't looked too much on the AFC side. I think they're struggling. But, the, you know, when you get when you go from one of the weakest schedules to one of the strongest schedules, yeah, they're 4-9. So, they're having a tough year. They're not going to be able to get past 500 this year. But Texans have a bright future, man. Stroud's no joke. There goes McKenzie. He's going to be down at the 21 there. Now I need DJ to get his freaking head out of his ass and get it going, man. Tampa currently beating the Lions 10-0. Hands it off. There you go. Good block right there by Runyon. And there it is, oh, folks. Singletary hurt on this one. We only got two running backs on the roster now. And uh, this is not going to be easy. We got Dobbins, though, who this is his chance to step up. Hopefully he succeeds, but... You know, we also got Gray, who I really am a big fan of. Throws this here. What the heck are these routes? J.K. Dobbins is going to have to play a little bit more. But the Giants, man, I don't know what it is about DJ, but he is playing real bad. And I guess maybe I'm, I shouldn't be too surprised there. Outside zone. Good blocking up front. There goes Dobbins. He finds some room. He puts his shoulder pad square, and he's going to be down at the 28-yard line. That's what we need right there. First and 10. We got a two tight ends on the right side of that line. We're going to go for a slant pass there. Gets it over to Harrison. Hangs on to it. Good tackle by Diggs there. Diggs, that, this is actually a really fun um, matchup between Diggs and Harrison. Diggs is a no-joke freaking corner, man. Very good corner. Go for a play action again. And he's got Harrison. He takes a nasty hit, but it is a first down inside the red zone there. Pumped about that. It'll be first and 10. I'm looking at just a, ins uh, just a run right there. There you go. Good blocking up front. Dobbins. It's about two yards or so. 2.30 left here inside this half. Don't do anything stupid. We got Gray on the field now. Giving Dobbins a little breather. Eric Gray is going to get a chance to step up here. He's in the spotlight now. Outside zone. Gray cuts back. He's got some room. Nice move by Eric Gray. And it's freaking first and goal at the three-yard line. You love it, man. That's how you get it done right there. The run up the middle. There goes Dobbins. He fights forward. He can't get there. Down at the one. We need more, man. Second and goal. Here we go. Defense trying to set up against our guys. Three tight ends hit. Two on the left, one on the right. Play action doesn't even happen. Lawrence coming in freaking hot. 
That's third and goals. Third sack for the freaking Cowboys already. Hasn't been a great start for uh, Daniel Jones at all. He spins. He just got to throw it away again. Come on, man. How is my O-line this bad? And we have to kick a field goal. 17-9. Giants, man. Yeah, so Illuminor, right? Like, he's kind of a temporary setup. So the right side of the line has to get tweaked. We do got Haynes, who I'm pretty excited about. So he'll play right guard. But I may need to look at, you know, more potential uh, veterans at right tackle. Maybe we keep Illuminor there. We draft a right tackle. And maybe that kind of works out for us. I don't want to stop investing in the O-line. But I, I need to make sure other pieces are set up, right? The DNs. We got Drake Jackson in there now along with Kingsley Kiki. But we didn't trade. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, dude. CD Lamb is destroying us. I don't know what to say here, man. They're they're one playing us and the Giants look horrendous here. 23 to 9, 24 now. And this is where we start fielding a pain, folks. I don't know. 24 to 9, can the Giants get their freaking crap together? We're going to need something. We're gonna let the ball hit the end zone. We'll start the drive at the 25, 24 to nine there. Play smart, don't do anything stupid. 104 left here in the half. Here goes Singletary, good blocks up front. Singletary's gonna fight, get to about the 32. They aren't even playing freaking flag on the play. How do we get a holding that fast? I threw the ball so quickly. Aaron Steiny, dude. We've given it an opportunity to start this week, and it has been bad for him from the get. He's given up sacks, and now we give up holding it second and 13 now. DJ's in trouble. It's Corley! Corley with the snag! What a throw by DJ! But the rookie with the over-the-shoulder catch there. Oh my gosh, DJ was running for his life. That ball was a duck, but look at that dot right there. Ooh, what a snag. And the Giants looking at first and 10. Oh, are they going to review it? And it has been upheld. I really like how he's been playing. Uh, Malachi Corley has been, dude. He's been a great surprise for us. What is going on with my O-line, dude? Oh, it is Micah Parsons. That play took a long time to develop, and we know it. We got two timeouts, so... We got to see if we can figure this out, but the Giants look horrendous this half. They go for the screen, and freaking... They were ready for it. Third and ten. I don't know, folks. We we uh, are feeling the wrath here. That was such a late throw, man! I pressed X like freaking a half a second before that. Why is he so bad? Oh my gosh. 20 seconds left here in the half. It's the outright right there to Fer uh, Ferguson. No, that's, I don't think that's Shoemaker. He's back. And we just look, we look like a hor horrible team. And um, we're going to have to figure that out as we enter the second half, man. I 24 to 9. Giants, I have never, I'm pissed. And it's dealing with the Daniel Jones <laughs> freaking throw. I don't know what it is about that guy. He just pisses me off, man. He pisses me off so much. The crazy part is I've been angry at Daniel Jones ever since he was... Like, when it comes to Daniel Jones and Madden, I've been so angry at him because he just does not figure crap out. Even when his OVR was better last Madden at the end of the year, 
he still managed to throw like soft passes where picks were so easy. Every other QB I used, the, the ball was get, would get dropped, but when DJ would throw it, it felt like it was just so easy for him. And look at this. Like there is no reason. He's nine for 21 today. And we had a morale boost. So insane. I think Singletary should be back. Second and 10 right now. Hands it off. Uh, Dobbins gets to about the 28, 30, and 7 there. Yeah, it's, been, it's been a rough one, man. I I definitely recognize it. I just got to figure out how we're... Uh, how we're going to just fight through this, man. It's been bad. Like that right there, like... Harrison had the inside and still couldn't get it done because that throw was bad. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I I feel like his OVR is just not there and as good as he... Oh, fumble! Come on! DeMarcari and Richardson freaking just let the ball go! Wow. Oh, my gosh, man. We cannot catch a break right now first and ten they're gonna hand it off to Zeke Zeke can't get anywhere great tackle by Pinnock we sent the dogs wherever we could need more man need more second and 11 here there you go they go for the screen Zeke fall oh my gosh Zeke gets the first down we just look horrendous man we look really bad this game. Gotta keep finding our way though, man. Oh, he's calls an audible. Up the field. Hawkins is guarding Ferguson. Big hit. Big hit on CD Lamb. Second and ten there. Strong Y off. I'm responsible for Ferg. Oh, they call an audible. So stupid. Did they call an audible where my guy doesn't come down on the adjustment? The field flipped. Third and four there. And I think it's, it's like as soon as you got a guy highlighted, the, the CPU does not auto motion, even though I'm not pressing any buttons. I'm just on my guy. Kind of crazy. Dak's got time. And he gets hit there by Burns. So the drive uh, gets shut down. I need the offense to do more, man. I don't know. Wow, the Ravens were down 14 to 7. They're up 21 14 there. Here comes McKenzie, ready to roll down at the 25 yard line. Need more. Wow, the uh, Lions have yet to score. Okay, so we've. Let's run to the left here. Pushing Bellinger, see if that shifts anything. It doesn't really. Outside zone there. There goes Singletary. He gets dragged down by his arm for a four-yard gain. Only four carries today for uh, Singletary. We should have been throwing, running more, but you know we got to work through this A little spacing call. Good catch by Harrison. Great catch by Harrison. That's the kind of stuff we need, man. Come on, Giants. Make it work. First and 10 at the 41. Good catch by Harrison again. There you go. Lean on your big dog. Five for 72. Let's get it done. 6.15 left here in the third quarter. Play action. DJ's got Wandale wide open. I threw a touch pass too. And he just can't get it figured out, man. He is so bad. Uh, 6.09 left here in the third quarter. Play action again. Got room. DJ's going to try to take off running there. He gets the first down at the 34. Jags beat the Titans there. I wonder what's going to happen with the Jags, man. 
Rams beat the Patriots. Well, the Rams are still figuring it, figuring it out. Let's run. Oh, wow. Way to cut back. But number six, great job right there. Second and nine. I'm going to throw some RPOs here. They're kind of pressing, my guy. We'll see how this works out. 2-4 mug concept. Oh, my. Come on, man. They didn't even send a blitz. It was just a regular four-man rush. Wow. Can't make this up, man. And then they've been running basic cover twos that have really shut down any potential screen. <sighs> <laughs> Their inside guy is better than my freaking edges, dude. Oh my god. Oh, wow, the Giants are going to punt this? Oh. It's been a bad day, man. There you go. A little backspin. Keeps him in the 10. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I The more I get hyped about this uh, game, the worse we end up being, so... We gotta try to stay in the pocket where we can, man. But these these guys are uh, NFC East competitors. Oh my gosh! There it goes. We got Prime Zeke going on right now. I can see that happening. You know, Zeke actually having a pretty good year next year. He did a great job with the Patriots. Uh, first and ten at the twenty-two. Great throw right there. And uh, Cooks is wide open on the zone concept. You know, I wonder what's going to happen, you know, with these Maddens. Like, I feel like uh, we're not really, like, the zones really collapsed this year. It was a pretty bad year for that. Man coverage, at least the year before, kind of held tight. But zones this year have been bad. Man coverages, I feel like men are, are still pretty weak. You can't really press... Uh, on certain guys, I feel like they, they will win that no matter what. Misdirection there. Okereke hanging on for dear life. My guys are just struggling and um, it's been bad, dude. What we got here? Got Brian Burns guarding freaking number three. Oh! Avante Maddox had a pick. See, and we don't get the pick. That landed in my dude's freaking palms, bro. Wow. Ravens taking the lead there, increasing their lead. Troy's struggling. I wonder if they're injured. I know, I think in this series, Trevor Lawrence was out. He's been out for a while. Oh, yeah, Goff looks like he might be out. He only threw two times. And he, one of those times was a pick, so it's got to be rough there. First and ten. What the heck was that? Wow, we can get magnetized to our guy? That's kind of neat. Didn't know we had that attribute. Magnetize. All right, first and uh, second and 10 here at the 20 yard line. That was a good hit by 72. But we just couldn't get it going there. Chiefs beating the Chargers 21 7. This has been a pretty bad uh, game for us, man. 39. DJ trying to do it with his legs. He can't go anywhere. Fourth and three. They played a perfect zone, too, which that cover flat never plays that way with me. But, you know, what are you going to do? So we are entering the fourth quarter here down 24-9. We just have not found our way. Fair catch there by number two. I don't know. Um... We had a great start to the year, and, you know, we were definitely winning a lot of games in, in a way that I was like, wow, we're we winning this many. And I think the uh, the eventuality of how bad we really should be is is kind of cropping up now. It's a still very, it's still a very young team, though, you know. Uh, corners are young. The uh, wide receiver group is pretty young. The quarterback scenario isn't really a uh, lot like a uh, great opportunity so we're, we got to figure out how to kind of get these pieces in order and hopefully we can kind of work through it. I'd say the defense has been great 
The offense scenario is not that. Look at this. They just beat me on the wheel route with Ferguson. Incredible. Great job. But yeah, we, we just got to find our way through this. We just, just getting smoked, man. Smoke bad. There it is. We finally get something there. He threw a horrendous throw to number eight. That's that's the turn of events that we need. 944 left. Giants have to figure this out, man. Is that a face mask? Oh my gosh! You can't make this up, dude! Even when we get freaking sacked, we still cause a holding? Evan Neal with the hold. Golly, man. Second and 19. Gets the screen off. Evan Neal with a decent block right there. Singletary gets back to the original line of scrimmage. But we've been getting shut down all day today. Um, it has not been a great time to be a giant on the offense. Defense has been playing pretty lights out, but the offense has been horrendous. He's got Malachi Corley there. What a catch by the Rook. That's what we need, man. Some type of spark. Gets the RPO here to Wandale. Great block by Harrison. Wandale's first catch of the game. It's been rough. The, the Cowboys are pretty much uh, locking in here now in a way that is really messing up the Giants. We're kind of coming down from our high while the Cowboys are uh, still have yet to peak. They, they continue to grow and progress in this uh, season. It's pretty amazing to watch. First and 10 here at the 44. DJ throws this up. What is, what is that dude? What is that? And Daniel Jones is hurt on the play. What is he doing? They're checking his leg and he's been injured a couple games already this season. And it's been bad. Now we got Drew Locke back there. It's it's been bad and I, I don't know what it is, but our guys cannot lock it in man Leg cramps <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have a joke for that one, but we'll leave it alone second and six here. They're gonna hand it off Good defense right there the DB stepping up in a great way. I'm really proud of this defense is we've gotten younger with you know, over time, but I, I think Riley um, getting uh, traded. We got Kingsley Kiki on this team. It's been pretty. Oh my gosh, dude! So you know, we we, we got some pieces that I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my cool, but man, it's bad. Definitely bad. There you go. Look at this. Like he doesn't go down. Um, until the until the contact until well after the first contact it's, it's kind of amazing to watch uh, we never get that kind of love but it is what it is there look at that dude he doesn't want to go down third and seven at the 45 there they know they know they have this thing pretty much locked down defense just has to find a way man third and seven Oh, they were trying to throw to somebody. But here's the thing. The Cowboys don't really care, right? They they know that they have a very good defense. Uh, the Giants have to score twice to make this even possible to, to be eventful right now. We're, we're not feeling anything. We're, we're getting smoked. And uh, the Giants are... The offense just looks so bad. I guess DJ's back. Uh, hopefully he'll stay healthy here. Play action. Gets it over to Singletary, who goes out of bounds. We stopped the clock, but I need more. I need more than that. Yeah, they're playing such perfect defense, too. Like the, There's no more presses in certain areas. <laughs> Why does he 
underthrow every time. I don't care how hard he's getting hit, dude. These throws are really bad. With the plus 10 morale, he should be freaking throwing dots out here, man. He's got Bell. Big play right there. Nice catch by the former Brown. Pistol set. Still 2-4 mug. David Bell there with the grab down at the 39. So far, this drive's looking okay, but it's kind of late. A little too late. Here we go. Dude, what is this, man? I'm throwing the ball like well before I'm pressing the button. He's just like hanging on to it for dear life. Like, let it go, man. Look at this. Oh my gosh, man. Uh, we got to make adjustments at the line. I don't know. Uh, Steiny just ain't it. We, we need another center, maybe. Good catch by Lawrence there. Need more, though, man. Come on, Giants. 232 left. Wandale. Oh my gosh. He's being guarded by Marquise Bell there with like he's a freaking DB. So good. Um, second and ten at the 27 yard line. Yeah, see, look at how look how they're playing like the routes. It's perfect. Two twenty-six left here in this one. Giants struggling, man. Oh my gosh! Malik Cooker just that's four picks for Daniel Jones. And uh we might have seen the last of DJ this game, and we got a lot of thinking for the next one, folks. He's thrown like I think like 12 picks in three games. He went from being such a reliable guy to where I am scared to use him. And the running game, like the O-line is not designed for, I, I don't know. I don't know what I do now. Like, do we move running over to right guard and move Neil to left guard? Do we, I don't know. The, the center is the problem too. And there, there isn't going to be a free agent that's really going to help us out to, to solidify that. that lot. Well, maybe we bring in another vet. I don't know. Look at this. Look at this. The, the team's just giving up, man. Their plus 10 morale is in stats are better than our plus 10. It should have just canceled it out. But uh, the Giants have to figure out how they're going to be better next next game because it's not going to get any, it's not going to be a better competitor. The Eagles, although they aren't doing so well uh, from a stat standpoint, Saquon Barkley killed us last time. He must have, I think he ran like over 150 yards on us. Like the rushing defense looks really horrendous here, and uh, we're just not getting it done. <laughs> wow, he, he got the spot. <laughs> that's insane. He just spun and got the spot. Oh, that's so funny. That's now, we have not scored a touchdown since the second quarter of last game. So six quarters now in a row of no touchdowns thrown for the Giants. They have to figure this out. We got to look at the stats, but DJ's thrown four picks this game. We couldn't get the run game. We had injuries up front. It's been bad. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And and like I said, I'm 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 clinging to the fact that hey, we are not. We, we will never. We won't be under 500 this year. But if we collapse at the end of the year, right? You got the Eagles and the Bengals. It's gonna be a rough one. And the storyline's going to push us even further. What are they going to say here? 
struggles with offense and says uh, not really we're just struggling not much else to say other than that we're trying to or trying but clearly not trying enough and new game plan didn't give us the results we didn't get a boost we just we just got smoked and I I don't know about putting it in the hands of the running game especially against this next competitor here in the Eagles but the Giants look bad and uh down but not with the loss but morale remains stable after the vote of confidence okay so we didn't get even though we lost we didn't die but this next game boy oh boy is that gonna be a tough one we got the eagles then the Bengals, then the commanders this is not getting any easier this next game this win decides whether the eagles are gonna be above us or not um Oh my gosh, dude. We are getting smoked. I think from an injury standpoint, we should have everyone back. Hyatt and Haynes back next week. But I got to tweak this O-line. We got to figure out who is going to be able to be better. But we are in trouble, folks. Uh, let's check out the stat line real quick. If you look at Daniel Jones' stat line, he has thrown 18 picks now. And a lot of those picks have happened right here. Look at this. That's four. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's thrown picks. He's only had one. <laughs> He's only had four games with no picks, dude. It has been bad. Uh, and what do you do here, right? Do you throw Drew Locke in? To go against the Eagles, do you keep Daniel Jones in? Um, I don't know. I, I think I think we gotta really pay attention to it because you got the Bengals and the Commanders coming up. Does Drew Locke take us across the finish line in these next games? It's gonna be rough. We fall to third place. I don't know what that does for us. Does that take us out of the playoffs? Maybe. Let's look at the. I'd say the Niners, where are they at from a standing standpoint? Maybe that gives me a little bit of a hint. Um, what does that tell me? So when you look, oh, uh, so the Saints and the Cowboys have, have clinched the playoffs. They're the only teams that have cl clinched the playoffs. But when you look at the NFC... The Niners are eight and six. So if we collapse and start losing, there is a chance we will be in the seventh seed. There is a chance we could be on the outside looking in in this year's playoffs. How ridiculous would that be? Michael Penix Jr. is leading the Saints there. Uh, they have clinched the playoffs. Really awesome to see the rookie get to work. But man, I am really confused on what has happened. But... You know, we got we to gotta work through it. We're 9-5. and five. It's not like we're whatever. But last year, when you saw the Eagles losing as the ways they were, barely winning games, they had a winning record, and they looked horrendous the entire time. Something didn't click. And for us, something is not clicking. We have to figure this out. We got to figure out how to be better. And the Eagles are in a place where they could really shut us down and we could see a full collapse of this team. Um, who knows? But that'll do it for today, everybody. If you like what you saw, please drop a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think. And most importantly, subscribe to keep up with the series. You definitely saw me angry in this one. And DJ definitely does that to me 100%. Um, but as always, everybody, let's go Big Blue. Have a good one.